with the leftover cabbage, the center of the head that didn't get used, I just finely chopped it and I'm getting it ready for sauerkraut. I'm going to make homemade sauerkraut. The cabbage measured out to four cups. So I'll be using a half a tablespoon of Himalayan salt. And then I just massage the salt into the cabbage until the cabbage creates its own brine with the salt. My own probiotic by using my leftover cabbage from making cabbage rolls and my meatloaf. So that's kind of cool. Here's the one I made uh, last week with my coleslaw dressing or coleslaw mix. I'm going to take the weight out of that one, give it a good wash, and I'm going to use it in the new sauerkraut. Use a new fresh coffee filter and put a lid on my old one and put it in the fridge. It's down to about two cups and I've created a brine. So as a tip that I didn't think of in my first video, it's good not it's good to use things that are not metal in creating your sauerkraut. In other words, I used a metal bowl. That being said, my sauerkraut turned out fine. But on a troubleshooting aspect of things, if you're having trouble getting your sauerkraut to work, it could be that you're using metal utensils and or a metal bowl to create or try and make your sauerkraut. I have a jar that's weighted down with rocks. I'm going to push down. When I push down, the brine comes out on top. It sits on top of the sauerkraut. Well, it's not sauerkraut yet, it's cabbage. Daily, take the weight off. I use a uh, my silicone spatula and I just go like this and I get the air out of the sauerkraut. The air is very, very important. You have to keep the air out. So I call it babysitting daily. Put the weight back on the cabbage. Put the coffee filter on and secure it with a elastic band. And the reason for that is I still have fruit flies, but you want to keep any kinds of, of flies, fruit flies, whatever, out of your mixture because they'll lay eggs in there and if they lay eggs in there then you're going to be uh, out of luck so this one's going into the fridge and this one's going on my counter and tomorrow I will push the air out of it and seal it all up well it's not really sealed but open air sealed again and I do that for five or six days Taste it at about the, well you could start tasting it probably about the fourth day if you want. And once it hits the, the taste that you like, then you put it in the fridge. Eat it daily and enjoy. I place the sauerkraut on a counter over by the back of my fridge where it's warm. You want it to be in a warm temperature. After two full days. So I burped it yesterday or babysat it yesterday. This is what it looks like as it's starting to ferment. You can see the bubbles. This is after three full days. Now I'm going to burp it and put it back for another day. Tomorrow I'll do a taste test. So I made this on Friday and it's now Tuesday. I babysat it daily. Time for the taste test. Okay, that's good. In my blog, I've posted some fun facts about sauerkraut fermenting. 
I hope you have a look. I expect that by the seventh day, I will be at the flavor that I like for my sauerkraut. You ferment to taste. Believe it or not, that is your choice. I hope you found this video helpful. Have a great day. Stay tuned for more videos.